Hello everyone. So we all know about like uh, in our vehicles nowadays. Nowadays we have a uh, power steering. So what is power steering basically? So power steering is whenever you are turning your vehicle, so there is an electric motor which is assisting you while turning. So while testing, while development of that uh, power steering, how manufacturers OEMs are testing like their steering system, their hardware, their motor is working properly or not. So uh, we came across one of the test bench. So from M Dynex. So in this M Dynex, uh, we have a HIL test setup. So it's in hardware in loop. What is hardware in loop? So here we are testing a hardware in a loop. So there will be no vehicle, but completely it's in simulation thing. So we have a complete test bench here. You can able to see there is an uh, steering rack. We are testing an electric motor and its hardware. And here we simulated our uh, steering uh, steering wheel. So with us for explaining this for understanding it uh, nicely. So we have Mr. Uh, uh, Killen from M Dynex. So he'll be help us, helping us. So, sir, as I uh, already seen, like this is a complete HIL setup, right? So this is a steering wheel which is simulating. So we are applying a proper amount of torque, okay, in a simulation mode. So as we can uh, compare it with the actual value, what is coming out? So this is a motor. Then why we are using this torque sensor here? So um, what we are actually doing here, we are getting out of the simulation. We are getting kind of like a steering wheel angle, and that motor is replacing in the end the, um, the driver and um, since the driver is applying kind of like a steering wheel angle we'll, this will also uh, will be then can be measured within the steering torque sensor um, and so to compare the internal sensor from the steering uh, uh, system and to make it in kind of a uh, way validating we are using that external steering torque sensor here um, furthermore what comes out of the simulation um, is kind of like the the rack force or the tie rod force, which is coming yeah out of like the full, I'd say interaction between the road, the tire, as well as kind of like the suspension system, and will then be from our linear actuator you explained in the beginning um, into our steering system. So uh, as we all know, like already steering system has its own torque sensors, but for testing for validating it, like torque sensor is giving proper output or not so what we did is we keep an external torque sensor here to validate the information which we are getting from the torque sensor which is already fitted into the steering rack or steering column so we are validating the same input output we are get, output we are getting here or not then additionally so here we are simulating an actual road condition so there is a uh, system which is connected to our rack here which is creating force same force what we are getting from the road it's around uh, four kilo yes it depends on it depends on what kind of like maneuver you're driving but um, since our system is actually capable of doing 16 kilonewtons even very advanced maneuvers for example like parkings of huge SUV cars is also possible to do on this um, but in normal kind of like road uh, environment I would say it's between four to six or four to seven kilonewtons so here we are applying around four to seven kilonewton but as uh, Kilan explained like it can generate up to 16 kilonewton of force we can test a heavy vehicle like uh, uh, SUVs as well so here we're creating forces on it so here you can able to see so uh, whenever we are say, uh, turning the steering it is uh, plus 90 degree minus 90 degree uh, for, so it, we have a total range of around 180 degrees so here you can able to see long your vehicle is training right turn so uh, uh, you can able to see as, as we are in a right turn so this column is getting outwards okay so basically it's uh, calibrating how what force and displacement is it, it is covering and what torque we are getting from the motor so this is how our uh, steering system is being tested then it is being fitted into the our vehicle so thank you everyone